Hi guys, in this video I would be showing you how to install macOS Catalina 10.15.5 the latest version as of today on VMware on Windows 10 on both AMD Ryzen and Intel PCs. So do watch this video till the end to have a working macOS Catalina virtual machine. So the following are the prerequisites. First you need to have virtualization enabled in the BIOS of your motherboard. If you don't know how to enable virtualization. Do a Google search about how to enable virtualization in the BIOS of your particular motherboard. Second, you need to go ahead and download the macOS Catalina 10.15.5 package from the link in the description below which has all the required files to have macOS Catalina 10.15.5 up and running on VMware. By the way, I would be making the first comment sticky which would include answers for frequently asked questions and solutions for commonly faced problems so do check that comment out before leaving a dislike if you manage to solve a particular problem which is not mentioned there do let me know how you did that in the comment section below so that i can include the solution in the sticky comment once you have managed to download the macOS catalina 10.15.5 package go ahead and move it to the desktop to make your life easier after that extract it using either winrar or 7zip Once done, open the macOS Catalina package 10.15.5 folder and install VMware Workstation Player 15.04 on your PC. You may ask why exactly this version. Well, this is the version that I found to be working with the latest macOS Catalina. The latest version of VMware Player which is 15.5.2 as of recording this video would give you all sorts of problems so don't use any version of VMware player beyond 15.1 only use 15.04 or you can try 15.1 as some people have found this version to be compatible as well once the VMware player 15.04 has been installed extract the nlocker 302 zip file go to the unlocker 302 folder Right click on win-install.cmd file and run it as administrator. Click on yes. This would unlock the option to install macOS on VMware. Now go ahead and open VMware workstation player. Click on create a new virtual machine. Select I will install the operating system later. Click on next. Select Apple Mac OS X and from the drop down menu Mac OS 10.14. Click on next. You can rename it to 15.5. Click on next. Select store virtual disk as a single file. Change the maximum disk size to at least 160 GB or more depending on the free space of your hard disk drive or solid state drive or as per your requirement. Don't worry even if you allot 160 GB, the 160 GB space won't get preoccupied. Click on customize hardware. For Catalina, I would recommend you to allot 4GB RAM to the virtual machine. But if you have a low spec PC, try 2GB and see if it works. Now select processor and depending on the cores available in your CPU, allot either 2 or 4 cores. I have an 8 core AMD Ryzen processor in my PC, so I would allot 4 cores. Click on Virtual Intel VTX hyphen EPT or AMD V slash RVI. Now go to New CD DVD SATA. Select Use ISO image file. Click on Browse. You can go to the desktop. Open macOS 
Catalina 10.15.5 package. Select macOS Catalina 10.15.5 .iso file and click on open. Now go to the USB controller. Select USB 2.0 from the drop down menu. Select show all USB input devices. Click on close. Click on finish. Close the VMware player. Now go to the documents folder. Virtual machines folder. macOS 10.15.5 folder. Right click on macOS Catalina.vmx file and open it with notepad. Minimize this. Now go to the macOS Catalina 10.15.5 package folder and open the VMX text file based on the processor you have in your PC. If you have an AMD Ryzen or FX series processor in your PC, open the VMX code for AMD text file. If you have an Intel Core branded processor which was launched in or after 2013, open the VMX code for Intel text file. If you have a Core branded processor in your PC which was launched prior to 2013 and if you face any AVX instruction set related issue, use the code for AMD PCs. As I have an AMD Ryzen processor in my PC, I would open VMX code for AMD text file. I would go ahead and select this entire code. Copy. And now I would open the actual VMX file. Scroll down to the bottom. And I would paste the entire code over here. Now scroll above and change the virtual hw dot version to 10 and click on save. Now you can go ahead and close this VMX file. I would go ahead and close this VMX code for AMD text file as well. If you have a recent Intel processor in your PC. You just need to copy and paste this little code in the actual VMX file. A quick note, this is the only different step. Every other step remains the same for both Intel and AMD PCs. Now you can close all these windows. Open VMware player. Select macOS Catalina 10.15.5. Click on Edit Virtual Machine Settings. Go to Options. Select Microsoft Windows and Windows 10 64 bit from the drop down menu. This step is important, otherwise, the virtual machine would get stuck at Apple logo. Click on OK now. Now click on Play Virtual Machine. You can ignore this. Click on next. Now double click on disk utility. Select VMware Virtual Seater Hard Drive Media. Click on Erase. If your keyboard is not working in the virtual machine, then you can go to Player, Removable Devices. You can see the keyboard over here if you have a USB keyboard. Click on Connect, Disconnect from Host.
click on OK. OK. Now you would be able to type and change the name if you want. I would name it macOS Catalina HDD. Now click on Erase. Done. Close this window. Now select Install Mac OS. Click on Continue. Continue. Agree. Agree. Select Mac OS Catalina HDD. Click on install. This may take a couple of minutes depending on the speed of your solid state drive or hard disk drive. The operating system is being installed. The moment you see this window once again, go to the player, power and shut down the virtual machine. Click on yes. Open VMware player. Select macOS 10.15.5. Click on edit virtual machine settings. Go to options. Change the OS back to Apple Mac OS X and from the drop down menu select Mac OS 10.14. Click on OK, OK, OK. Click on OK. OK. Now click on Play Virtual Machine. Select your country. And click on continue. 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 Don't transfer any information now. Continue. Set up later. Skip. Agree. Agree. Now go ahead and create your user account. Click on continue. Customize settings. Continue. Don't use. Select time zone. Click on continue. I prefer to uncheck this. Click on continue. Set up later. I like to uncheck this as well. Click on continue. Select the theme that you prefer. Click on continue. macOS Catalina 10.15.5 has been successfully installed and now to make it run in full screen mode and to improve its responsiveness plus to enable drag and drop support between macOS virtual machine and Windows 10 host operating system, we need to install VMware tools. So first, eject our macOS Catalina operating system ISO file from the operating system by right clicking on this icon and by clicking on eject install macOS Catalina. Now go to the player menu, removable devices, CD, DVD, CDA, settings, check connected, click on browse, select Darwin.iso file, 
which is actually VMware tools file. Click on open. Click on OK. Double click on install VMware tools. Click on continue. Install. Continue installation. Enter your user account password. Install software. Click on open security preferences. Click on this lock icon. Enter your user account password once again. Click on unlock. Click on allow. You can uh, click on this lock icon once again. Now you can close this window. The VMware tools are being installed. Now click on restart to restart the operating system. Now you can run the macOS Catalina virtual machine in full screen mode. Plus you can drag and drop files between guest macOS and host windows operating system. Thank you for watching this video guys. My next goal is to make this channel reach 2000 subscribers so please do hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon to get a notification once I upload my next video. Please do not forget to hit the like button as well. Do let me know in the comment section below if you want me to create another video once Apple launches another point release. Have a great day. See ya.